With the election season certainly in full swing, New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen has been sitting down with people of varying political backgrounds and beliefs to talk about what political issues are most important to them this year in 2020. And she recently sat down with two leaders of the Maine Federation of College Republicans to discuss which issues they, as Generation Z conservatives, find most important. Hannah joins us now with the details on that. Interesting. Yeah, Cindy, you know, when you turn on any 24-hour news station right now, you hear it. American politics has gone to extremes, with parties becoming polar opposites. But there are also deep divisions and different ways of thinking within each party, separating those with extreme views from more moderates. I learned that firsthand when I sat down with two young men who say they're part of a relatively new faction of the Republican Party. I would consider myself the what's called an America First conservative. Mm -hmm. So this is what Donald Trump has spawned. I think right now it's Donald Trump's party and everyone else is catching up. Charlie Honkinen and Jeremiah Childs are respectively the chair and vice chair of the Maine Federation of College Republicans. They believe the future of their party depends on rallying the support of Generation Z conservatives like themselves. The Republican Party has realized they can't lose young people. The reason why we lose elections is because they forget about us mm -hmm. a lot of the times. So they need to refocus on issues we care about. Um, and if they don't, then the party will die. There's a tension in the National Republican Party between traditionalists and America first conservatives. According to Childs, some issues are more divisive than others. I think immigration is the, the number one issue hmm. and then health care. First of all, they don't have a solution to health care. That's something we need. According to Honkinen, immigration is at the center of the America First way of thinking. You know, the idea and belief of taking care of our own citizens first and foremost, making sure everything is okay in our home versus, you know, going out and taking in others. A lot of people fear for their future job security, uh, whether it's folks who go to college like us or folks who aren't going to college uh, and are taking some of the lower income other jobs. I think both are affected in different ways by different types of immigration. Mm -hmm. And really, I think it, it all comes down to that is a, a future of job security and availability for Americans first. At the center of the America First movement is a feeling that the current system isn't working for them. They want significant change, but say there's resistance from party moderates and traditionalists, something they say they're also seeing among Democrats. People on the left who are voting for Sanders have realized the system has kind of spit them out and doesn't care about them, and people on the right are the same way. It's this, this felt that we've been left behind. We should add this series, Voting in 2020, it's perspective based. It's an opportunity to listen to various viewpoints, not necessarily engage in political debate. If you or someone you know, or perhaps a group you know, would like to engage in this type of conversation, you can reach me at hannah.deneen at newcentermaine.com. I think Very this is a great idea. Yeah. Listening is the hardest part for a lot of people. Mm. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Hannah.